Right then. Righty, righty, righty. Oh, hello everyone. Mr. Matthew here, and uh, to see in the live chat, everyone's getting excited. And uh, you might see uh, I am uh, doing this from uh, school this week. And uh, you might also see that uh, behind me, we have the first little entries to our uh, word wall competition. So uh, we'll be collecting all the other cards uh, during next week. But uh, some students, they've, uh, they've already been uh, handing them in this week. So uh, we've started putting them up. And uh, we're going to fill this wall with your word wall cards. And, uh, of course, some of you will be winners. We've had some fantastic uh, cards so far, some really nice pictures. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see who, in each year level, is going to be the winner. Now, my mask keeps falling down my face here. There we go. There we go. Right, anyway, let's just have a look and see who is in our live stream and uh, okay so far we've got uh, Madeline, Coco's in, Marcus is in and uh, Mason, Abigail who else is in, uh, Julian from 1C and Zenith is in and Chow Tzu Yuet, I'm not sure, oh, sorry that's probably bad pronunciation but uh, from 1C and Li Zi Yu from 2C. Who's that? Let us know in the live chat uh, your English name. JC is in and um, Julian says hi. Well, hi to you, Julian. So, guys, uh, we're going to start in a few uh, minutes. We will start exactly at 2 o'clock with the cahoots. Uh, but as you'll see, uh, there was no school picnic today, right? Uh, there was no picnic. It should be our picnic day today, but of course, because of this uh, COVID stuff, uh, no picnic. Uh, Marcus in the live chat says, put your glasses on your mask so it won't fall off. Ah, I'll try that. Thanks, Marcus. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, no school picnic today, but we can still do some cahoots about food. And uh, I have made a cahoot, well, I found a cahoot actually, and just changed it a little bit. All about food safety, uh, which is probably quite important at the moment. And uh, Madeline, she made, we're going to play her game first today. She made a food kahoot, uh, so we'll play that one first. And also today, we will have a kahoot uh, by Alvin, who uh, managed to share that with me last week. And also, um, I'm not sure the English name, I'm not sure who sent it in. I will ask later, but someone has made a nice little cahoot all about animals. So we shall play that as well. Right, who else is joining us today? So yeah, Alvin's just come in, Lydia's in, Alpha's joined us, and uh, Charles is in as well, and Hasten, and Chu Shen Yu says hi. So English name, let us know in the live chat. All right, guys, uh, so let's just have a little look. Before we start, before we start, uh, a couple of students uh, sent me a message earlier. Said they're, they're very excited to play the Kahoot, but they're not sure how to play it from home. So, guys, uh, what we're going to do before we start... Ah, here we are, Charles and Tracy. Yes, Tracy was asking, like... Oh, from home, how do, how do you play the Kahoot? Because uh, maybe if you haven't played Kahoot's from home on the live stream, you're like, ah, oh, how do you play? I'm going to show you first before we start, guys. So just give us two minutes, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, what you need to do, um, you are going to be watching on the computer or iPad. You're going to be watching this screen. This is where the questions will be when we load the game. But you can play the game, you can maybe open another tab. Guys, so for example, if you open at the top here, another tab, yeah, you see you've got these little tabs at the top, and just go to kahoot.it. So then you can watch the questions here, and for example, if the answer is red, you can go over to here and you can click on red. 
So uh, certainly for Tracy, who sent me a message earlier, that's one way to do it if you're doing it on the same computer or iPad. Of course, you can just watch on the computer and go to kahoot.it on your phone or on your iPad. So, oh, hang on, let me just sign in. So, yeah, again, kahoot.it, whether it's on the iPad or the phone. So that's how you can play. You're watching it on one screen for the questions, and then you're clicking either on another tab or on your iPad or on your uh, iPhone, something like that. Okay, hope that helps, and uh, we're going to load up the first game today. Uh, let me just check the live chat before we do. Okay, so we've got a few more people in, and um, good to see everyone there. Okay, guys, let's load up. So we're going to start with uh, Madeline uh, from uh, 2C. She made a uh, nice little uh, food kahoot. And because we should be on our picnic today, let's play this one first. Okay, guys, so we're going to give you a minute or so to get yourselves signed in with the game pin. And the game pin is, oh. come on Wi-Fi, oh, oh, that's loud, oh, hang on, scary. I'm still trying to sort out my volume situation here. Let me turn this one down. Okay. I think that should be okay. It's very scary music, isn't it? I think it's because it's Halloween, isn't it? Next week. And of course, we will be uh, playing a Halloween Kahoot next week. Okay, we've got 20 players so far, 21 are in, so... Let's give you another 20, 30 seconds, and then we'll start. Maven says, what are we talking about? It's all about food, 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 because we had no picnic today. Oh, and I, uh, I think I should move myself out of the way as well, yeah? There we go. You can see the screen. Okay, we've got 23 players uh, signed in. I think it's time to start. Uh, we've got 40 watching. Ah, okay. Give you a little bit longer. Okay, guys. Jaden from 5C in the live chat saying, my Wi-Fi is not really good. Well, see how it goes, um, Jaden. Um, sometimes Wi-Fi is a problem, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I think it's time to play. Come on, let's do it. Madeline's Food Kahoot. Here we go. Here we go. Number one. What is this food? Aha. An easy start, is it? And 
we've got a few more people joining. I think that's uh, Churlock is in from uh, P1. Maven saying hi to everyone. And um, Marcus and Season are saying that uh, they've got extra maths class. Oh dear. Anyway, there you go. Serial, of course. So that was a nice, uh, easy first question from uh, Madeline. Thanks for that, Madeline. Not too tricky, not yet. Let's try your second question. But first, let's have a look. So you've got Alvin, you've got, I guess that's Jaden in second place, his favourite nickname. Adonia from 1C, doing well in third place. And then we've got I'm Trash again, oh dear. And Marcus from 5B. You are the top five, will you stay there? Let's try question two. Is it food or drink? Uh, what? Um, oh, Madeline has been a little bit naughty, hasn't she? A little bit cheeky with this question. Is it food or drink? Well, it, it, it's drink, we know that, but which one? <laughs> nice question, Madeline. Tricky. Or is it easy? Yeah, live chat, uh, Jaden's just saying that he also has the extra maths class. Well, lucky you guys. Why do you get extra maths class? All right, there we go. Yeah, it was kiwi juice. So, a bit of a tricky answer when we look at the question, but uh, most of you managed to get it. Okay, top five. Uh, Adonia's moved up, Lydia's up, and Marcus is up. And Alvin, top of the tree. Question three. What food is it? Let's have a look. No, oh, it's easy. Boom. It was, of course, green apples. Now, that should have been a very easy question. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, actually, uh, I am colorblind. Yes, now what does that mean? That means I have difficulties with reds and greens. So that question could have been difficult for me, uh, and it was difficult for some of you guys too, but 25 of you got it right. Now, let's have a look. Lydia, oof, she's moved straight to the top. Can she stay there? Let's try number four. What food is it? Oh, and I think Madeline's been very kind and gentle with us on this Kahoot. Um, well, oh, hang on, how many, what? Oh.
It was an orange. Yes, it was one orange cut into three pieces, I believe. So 11 of you managed to get it, but uh, a lot of you didn't. Did this change our top five? Oh, Lydia's disappeared. Alvin, Mason, Martin, Abigail, and Mysterious M. Who is that? Let us know in the live chat. You're in the top five. Question five. Different type. What? Oh, dear. What's this? Different type. Goldfish, yellow fishes. I don't know. Sea and fishes. Um, oh. I'm just sending a message to uh, Tracy from 4B. She says she can't hear. Um, just ask her if she needs to turn up her volume on the computer, on her computer. All right, let's have a look. The answer was C and fishes. Both of those were in the picture, but that was a bit of a tricky one, Madeline. Uh, quite a nice question. I like those tricky ones. Now, uh, Martin has moved up. Abigail and the mysterious M is up as well. Question six. What is this food? Um, oh. Interesting uh, comments about fish or fishes in the live chat. Tricky one, that. Uh, actually, Jaden is right. We talk about fish. One fish, ten fish, twenty fish, a million fish. But you do hear sometimes some people say fishes, so uh, there you go. All right, anyway, that was carrots. That was easy as well, wasn't it? Although some of you just went for one. There was more than one carrot. Okay. Any change? Uh, M, Alvin, and Adonia. She's back in the top five. And we are on the last question for this quiz. What place is this? Oh. Hmm. Well, looks nice. All that chocolate candy. But where is that? Sweet store, snacks shop, supermarket, or chocolate shop? Mm. It's difficult to say from this photo. Oh, tricky. All right. It was a supermarket. It could have been, well, sweet store. We don't normally say sweet store. We say sweet shop or candy store. That's the way we say them. So, yes, supermarket was probably the best answer. So, Madeline, this has been a fantastic starting Kahoot for today. Thank you for that. But let's see who has won it. Third, Adonia from 1C. Congratulations. Second, Alvin from 2B, but our winner, it's Martin. Congratulations. With Mason and 1C, student number three. I'm not sure who your English name there, but well done. You're in the top five. Okay. Boom. 
So that's our first one. Now, guys, we've got a lot of cahooting to do today. We've got four cahoots. That was the first. Next one, uh, this is all about food safety. So particularly if you're making things to go on a picnic, which we should have been doing today, uh, let's have a look at food safety. Some of these questions are easy. Some are difficult. So this is going to test us. Let's see what you can get right. And we'll give you a minute or so to just get yourselves signed in. And the number is, there you go, Right, we got 27 in. I think that's pretty much everyone. Let's play. Oh, 26. Okay, here we go. Food safety. What do you know? Being safe with food. So before and after handling food, you should wash your hands with what? And in the live chat, Lydia is saying, Xu Ying is me. Okay, so we're going to be playing another of Lydia's cahoots later. Okay, what's the answer? There you go, warm water and soap. So, of course, recently with the COVID-19, we're all very uh, aware of washing our hands all the time with, with soap and, and hand sanitizer. But of course, if you're cooking, you're making food, uh, you should always be washing your hands as well after you've done that. Warm water and soap, that is the answer. And... That means, I think that's Jaden in top spot at the moment. Madeline Boohoo, Marcus, Oscar and Maven making up the top five. Let's try number two. Why should we keep food in the refrigerator? The fridge, as we usually call it, the fridge or refrigerator. Ooh. It slows down the growth of bacteria, germs. It makes it taste better or it stops bacteria growth. Of course, bacteria just means the germs, those little, little things you can't see, which are maybe not good for you. There we go. It slows down the growth of bacteria or germs. 
Now, this is a quite a difficult word, actually, bacteria and growth. Um, it just means that, you know, if you have an apple and if you put it on the table and you don't eat it for one year, you know it's going to look pretty bad. It's going to go brown and black and just go all horrible. So this is what we, we, we're we talking about when bacteria and spreading, making it food, making the food go bad. And most of you got the right answer. So well done. And Jaden's still top, but uh, Mavin's moved up. And Ryder from 1C, he's into third place. Can he stay there or improve? Now, if you cough or sneeze, achoo, you should. You should do what? Cover your mouth and re-wash your hands. Cough or sneeze into your elbow, or both answers are correct. And in the live chat, Madeline was asking earlier, said, who made this Kahoot? Um, I don't know, actually. I found it. I, uh, I found this Kahoot. I just searched on uh, the Kahoot, and uh, I was looking for food quizzes. And I found this one, and it was a bit longer, so I just made it a bit shorter. Uh, but there's some good questions in it, I think. And, of course, the answer for that one is both of these answers were correct. So, if you're coughing <coughs> or sneezing, achoo, you, uh, you should be doing both of those things. Cover your mouth, wash your hands, or maybe you can be uh, sneezing into your elbow and uh, just making sure you don't spread anything. Okay. That means, after that question, Oscar and Hollis have jumped into the top two spots. Malvina's is up to fourth. Right, question four. You should use a clean spoon each time you... Right then, let's have a look. Each time you taste food while cooking, each time you use a different condiment, for example, peanut butter or jelly. Mm, what's the answer? Oh, there's one more, both of these. Oh, good point in the live chat by Maven, saying there is sometimes good bacteria, good germs. That is true. Like in yogurt, very, very good point. And in the live chat, Marcus is questioning, sneeze in your elbow. Really? Sneeze in your elbow? Yeah, I mean, actually, it's not something I usually do myself. Um, okay, anyway, answer for this is both of these uh, are correct. You should clean the spoon each time you've tasted, using it to taste the, the cooking, the food, and of course, if you're using different condiments. So these just means like different spreads, for example, butter or Nutella or peanut butter, those kinds of things. Right, most of you got it. Did it change things? Hollis, Maven have moved up, and Riders back in the top five. Let's try question five. What should you not do with raw meat? Now look at that, raw, not cooked. That is raw meat. So what should you not do? And in the live chat, Marcus uh, says he needs to go to class, so he's going to have to jump out of this game. Well, have a good weekend, Marcus, and we'll see you next week. And have a good class, too. Oh, it's a 5B Zoom, is it? Ooh, oh, that's the maths class, yeah? Enjoy.
And I think uh, Jaden, he's going to be out there as well in the maths, along with Season, I guess, and any, any others from uh, P5, is it? All right, well, the rest of us are lucky we do not have to go to a maths class. Fantastic. And uh, there's the answer. Yes, you should not use the same chopping board or cutting board for vegetables and raw meat. So if you're cutting some uh, sausages and then you cut your lettuce on the same, same place, uh, that could be very bad for you. So don't do that. Again, the, the bad germs. All right, anyway, Oscar's up, Malvin's up, Ryder's up, and Alvin's up. Ooh, Hollis is holding on to first place, though. Can he stay there? We've got a few more questions on this one. So if you think food has gone bad, do you toss it, dump it, get rid of it, or, when in doubt, throw it out? Mason, in the live chat, he's saying this question's very difficult. Well, Mason, is it very, very difficult or is it very, very easy? It's easy. They all mean the same thing in English. Toss it, dump it, get rid of it, throw it out, throw it away. We have so many different phrases uh, for rubbish, but uh, they all, they, all of these are good. So uh, well done, everyone. You all got it right. And look at the points difference. It's so close in our top five. Who's going to be the winner? Question seven. You should wash your hands. When? Is this a trick question? I think some of you, some of you, 13 of you, <laughs> you fell for the trap, you fell for the trick. It was a trick question. Look, be careful. See, you're thinking about touch an animal. You think, oh, yeah, I must, I must wash my hands. Touch an animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah wash my hands. Uh, toilet? Ah, oh, of course, I must wash my hands. But just look, before you use the toilet, no, 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 after, right? Before you touch an animal? Uh, no, 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 after. So the only correct one there was, of course, after you handle raw meat or eggs. So if you've been uh, in the kitchen and you've been touching some meat or some raw eggs, you should always wash your hands. Okay. Ooh. Malvina's up to second. Maven's up to fourth. And Madeline's back in the top five in fifth place. And it's question eight, the last one. You're helping prep veggies for dinner. You should. Now, let me just give you a bit of help there on the red one. Rinse just means kind of wash under the tap, under the kitchen tap. So just put it under the kitchen tap and put some water on it. So, which one?
course. You just rinse the veggies under running tap water. Of course, running, it just means it's splashing down from the tap. It's not actually running like we run with our legs. Okay, 25, have you got it? All right, let's have a look. Top three, third place, Oscar. Well done. Second place, Malvina. All correct, Malvina. And also all correct, Hollis. Hollis is our winner with Maven and Ryder in the top five. So well done, Hollis. From uh, That's Hollis from 6A, right? I should say, uh, Hollis actually did a great video uh, for his uh, P6 school interviews uh, last week. I must say, that was a fantastic one. Well done, Hollis. You're having a great week. Now then, uh, we've got two more cahoots uh, for today. We've got Alvin's Kahoot game, and uh, Alvin's put in some interesting questions. And we also have uh, Xu Ying's. This is Lydia from P3. So we're going to do this one first. I think this one is the easier one from Lydia. I think Alvin has been uh, quite naughty and uh, tricky with some of his questions, which I do like. Well done, Alvin. But uh, first of all, let's just play. It's five questions all about animals. So we are off food and now we're on to animals. Uh, not the animals that we eat, right? I think this is more other types of animals. Okay, let's have a look. If you want to join if you're still with us, if you don't have maths class, there's the code, 7468819. We'll give you a moment, a minute or so to get yourselves in. Okay, guys, we, uh, we've got 17 in so far. Oh, that's going up fast now, up to 21. Oh, suddenly quiet. Okay. And the scary music starts again. Okay, guys, we're up to 27. I'll give you 10 more seconds and then we'll start. That's a 10, it's a 9, it's an 8, it's a 7, it's a 6, it's a 5, 4, 3, 2. And of course, it's a 1. Let's play. We've got 33 in. Here we go. So this is Lydia's animals. Here we go. What do you know? True or false? Oh, is this a snow wolf? Oh, it should be easy. Is this a snow wolf? It's true or false? So guys, what's the answer to be? Is this a snow wolf? Yes, it is. Now, uh, it looked like a snow wolf, but you never know with uh, some of these tricky questions that people play. Uh, right, let's have a look. 
Uh, well, Lydia, of course you're first because this is your game. So uh, you will not be included in if you win it, Lydia, because you know all the answers. So at the moment, we shall say that Martin is our real first place. Uh, Mason, Ray and Zenith uh, making up our top four. Okay, let's have a look. Next question. Is this a swan? Ooh. Well, if you know what a swan is, you will know if this is a swan or not. Right? The answer is yes, swans. They're very, very interesting uh, creatures, aren't they? Very strange and beautiful looking creatures. All right. Well, of course, Lydia's still top with her answering her own questions, but our real top is Martin, Ray, Alvin and Ryder. Okay. And if you are in sixth place at the moment, we can't see because it doesn't tell us, but if you are in sixth place, Actually, you are in fifth place. So let us know in the live chat if you are actually in sixth place. Question three. Is this a... What? Is this a ought? A ought? Ought? Hang on. Is this a naughty, tricky question? Or is this just a... An honest spelling mistake. Is this a ought? Well, look at the picture. answer is false because it is in fact as you are saying in the live chat it is an ant a an ant so we're missing an n and the u should be an n there too all right talking of insects i'm sitting in the uh, english room as you know doing this and uh, there's a mosquito flying around me trying to eat me can you believe that all right let's have a look Alvin is up. Okay, I think Lydia is giving everyone a chance now. So uh, Alvin, Ray, Martin, Adonia again, and Ryder again. And uh, this mosquito's flying around my face. Oh my goodness, I'm going to go a little bit crazy. Okay, question four. Is this a, 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 a what? Is this a rabbit? Rabbit, 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 what? Indeed, it's false. It's not a uh, rabbit. It's a rabbit, isn't it? <laughs> All right, okay. Who's uh, still Alvin top? Martin's moved up. Okay, uh, let's see. Last one. Is this an octopus?
It is indeed an octopus. So, 30 of you said yes, that's an octopus. Well, it should be an octopus, to be fair. A-N, an octopus. Don't forget, guys, A-E-I-O-U. We're using an. All right, let's have a look. Third place. Adonia, she's having a very good day. Ray, congratulations. And Alvin. With Ryder and Ella making up our top five. Well done to you guys. Okay, now Alvin. Alvin is having a great day. He's just won that one. And uh, I think he came second in the first one, right? So, uh, we are actually going to play Alvin's Kahoot game now. So, Alvin, if you can uh, not play your game so that uh, we can give uh, all the other students a chance, because, of course, you know the answers to your question, but you can have a lot of fun watching people to see if they manage to answer your questions correctly uh, or not, because I know you've got some tricky ones here. Okay, guys, this is the last one for today. If you want to play... Here's the code. It is dun 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 six one seven six five eight five. And uh, I'm just putting a little message through there to Tracy. Uh, Chan Ho Wan from 4B. Yes, I will, uh, you're not sure, still not sure how to play from home. Uh, come and see me next week at school and I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do it, okay? Okay, we've got 25, 27, 28, 29. Anyone else joining? We're up to 30. Okay, 10 seconds, guys, and then we start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, let's play Alvin's Kahoot. What kind of questions are waiting for us here? Let's have a look. Number one, which wild animal makes a grunting noise? Grunt, grunt. I think that's a grunt. What's the answer? Bears, pigs, koalas, or aardvarks? It's pigs. Yes, pigs make that grunting noise. The noise that po uh, pigs make, just remember that in English, that's a grunt, that sound, <coughs> like that. All right, so top of the tree, it's a huffer jahugger with uh, 3B30, who's that? And then we've got Lydia, Mason and Cody. All right, let's try question two. True or false, a horse makes Ba sounds. Ba ba.
Oh, I think it's, it's quite easy, isn't it, really, this one? There you go, of course. A horse makes bar sounds? No, they don't. That's sheep, isn't it? Sheep going ba, ba. Uh, okay, well, what does a horse uh, sound like? What's that? Uh, maybe next week you can come and uh, tell me. What does a horse do? Uh, in English, we actually say it neighs. We say a horse neighs. It's actually quite difficult to do a neigh. Uh, so if you can, show me next week at school. All right. Martin from 1A has jumped into top spot with Ray in second and uh, Hollis has joined the uh, top five. So Hollis is having a good day there. Now, which animal makes a guttural cry? Oh, you might need to go on to uh, Google Translate or get a dictionary or something. Guttural? A guttural cry. What does it mean? Does anyone know? Yeah, Mason from 3B in the live chat, he is asking, what does it mean? What is a guttural cry? Good question. Um, okay, guys. Um, I think the easiest thing to do, I can't do this. I can't make this noise uh, because I'm not a camel, actually. So uh, let's, uh, let's go to uh, Google Translate. Just, let's just pause for a moment and uh, find out what is it. If we can go to Google Translate. There we go. All right, let's just type that in and we'll see if we can get uh, a guttural cry. Okay, there you go, guys. I don't know if that helps you. There, have a look at that. And let me just uh, should I click on that, see what it says. Oh, there you go. Does that make any sense? Again, if you can do a guttural cry, maybe you can uh, show me next week at school. Okay. Now, where were we? Here we are. Okay, a camel does that, does it? Okay. So, Hollis has moved up. Ooh, 2B. Ooh, Ka Kahin from 2B. And then Maven have moved up. And IT. Who's IT? You're on fire. Doing very well at the moment. Let's try question four. You enjoy this Kahoot game? Question mark. So Alvin is asking you if you uh, enjoy his Kahoot game. You can give him your answer right here. Well, there you go. I think everyone knew that that was an easy one. You can answer however you like, but uh, most of you say yes. So, Alvin, uh, everyone's enjoying your Kahoot here. And no change at the top. Let's try number five. You remember what time do we go to school? Oh, the timer, the timer. Look at the time. Only 20 seconds. Oh, quick, quick. Uh, you had two choices, apparently, yes or no. Do you remember? Yes, you do, or no, you don't. Ho, 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 ho. Lots of people did not choose that. Uh, hang on. What time do we go to school? 13? You said 6 a.m.? Ah. 
Well, maybe you can think that, ah, oh, you leave your home at 6 a.m. Ah, Alvin, that's uh, interesting, isn't it? They might be right, but not on this question. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, it's changed things. Ryder and Sonny. Okay, is into the top five. Question six. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Which European capital city was the first to run an underground train system? Now, that means like the MTR. Just think of underground train system like MTR. Was it China, London, Berlin, or Madrid? Well, capital city, for example, Berlin is the capital city of Germany, London is the capital city of England, and Madrid is the capital city of Spain, the biggest the most important city. All right, the answer is London. Yes, the oldest, and it is very old now. We need a new one in London, I think. All right, raise up. IT is up, and we're on to question seven. So, oh my goodness, this is a tricky one. Look at this. Oh my goodness, let me try and read it. The 21st century race to send tourists to space is on. But which country was the first to launch a man into orbit? Now, guys, that just means like a who, which country sent the first man into space? New York City, China, India, or Russia? It was Russia, yes, uh, many, many years ago now. The Russians, they sent uh, the first man into space, not to the moon, but into space. And did you know, before they sent the first man, they sent a dog into space. That is true. Now, if you don't believe me, you can check that on the internet. Yes, they sent a dog first in a spaceship, a dog in a spaceship. Just think about that. It's very interesting. Now, Ray, top of the tree, Ryder, Alien Bob, version 22, and Zeta, she's made the top five, but we still have a few questions. Which is the biggest fish in the ocean? The biggest fish So what is it guys, the, the biggest fish, is it the big shark, the mola mola, the whale shark, or the giant oar fish? There you go guys, it's the whale shark. So if you didn't know that, um, that is the answer. That's the biggest fish in the ocean. Now I think the biggest fish 
Um, I think whales are not fish and sharks are not fish, but there is a fish called the whale shark. I think that's right. If I'm wrong, uh, we will have to ask Alvin back at school next week. All right, let's have a look. Alien Bob's moved up a little bit. Martin from 1A, he's back in the top five. We've got a three questions, okay. Oh, it's a shark one again. Let's have a look. Which species of shark has three times the number of rows of teeth than the average shark? Uh, that's a very difficult question, and the answers, I have no idea. How about you? Well, uh, 13, have you got it right? Uh, did you know that, or was it a lucky guess? So the bull shark uh, basically has, uh, well, too many teeth, by the sounds of it, far too many. All right, let's have a look. IT and Sonny back in the top five, but Ray is still on top. Two questions to go, and it's about dolphins. So... What do dolphins use to help them navigate and find food in the ocean's depths? Okay, let me, let me just read these for you. You've got echolocation, sing, x-ray vision, and radar. Oh, well, now, echolocation, I'll give you a little clue on this. Echo, 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 echo. Radar. I'll give you a clue. Ping. 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 X-ray. Well, just watch Marvel uh, comics, Marvel films. You know what X-ray is, and I think you know what Sing is. But what's the answer? It's echolocation, location, 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 location. Echo, that's when your voice bounces around and you can hear it many times. And 18, if you got it, well done. Okay. Uh, okay, Alien Bob, version 22, is up to second place. Uh, Ryder's up to uh, fourth. Martin's up to fifth. And with Hollis in third. But Ray, we're on to the last one. Can you hold on? For top spot. Can you get this one right? Let's see. We finally finished this Kahoot. What? Yay or way? Well, I think they're both positive, aren't they? We finally finished this Kahoot. Yay, wee. All right, everyone got it right. But let's have a look. So Alvin's Kahoot game, third place, Hollis. Congratulations. Did well today, Hollis. Alien Bob, version 22. But the winner. Ray, yes, Ray, yes, yes, Ray. With Ryder and IT making up the top five. Well done, guys. Okay, so I hope everyone's uh, enjoyed today's uh, Kahoot for the weekend. Uh, just bring myself back in for the uh, last moment. 
And there you go, guys. So uh, we shall be saying bye-bye shortly. Uh, listen, remember, it's a three-day, three-day weekend, long weekend, no school on Monday. Great stuff, eh? So enjoy the holidays, uh, enjoy the, the, the day off, and uh, we will see you all back at school on Tuesday. All right, guys, have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.